bottom of the lake right up here at about 20 feet. All these marks right here from 12 feet down to 16 feet are cropping. Officially, ice season here in 2021, and I'm about 45 minutes north of Minneapolis, St. Paul area here in Minnesota, and found a nice, decent-sized small lake here to fish, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do. This is this is one of my favorite panfish lakes here. Um, I don't know how it's gonna be. We've got decent ice, about four inches. Most places I've been, some some places five. But uh, we're just gonna see what's out here and see if we can get on some panfish. Catch our first ice fish of the year. All right, let's do what we came here to do. I started out shallow. Uh, early ice, I like to find weeds that are near structure, or not structure, but near deep water. And uh, You can usually find crappies and nice sunfish in there. I tried those spots on this lake already and didn't mark a whole lot, didn't catch anything. So I came out to one of my normal spots out here. It's a, it's a 20 foot basin, deepest part of the lake. And uh, typically there's a nice crappie bite out here. A lot of people don't realize that even early ice, crappies will already be out here in the basins. And I've got a mark on my screen already here. He's very suspicious, but we'll see if we can get him to go. It's a nice mark, very nice mark. Just gotta get him to take it. Yep, that was a nice up bite. Doesn't feel big. No, well, he's not horrible. Eight, nine incher. First ice fish of the year, 2021. Always a good feeling, especially when it's a crappie. I absolutely love catching crappies. Nothing too special, but anything's good. Anything's good at this point. You just gotta love catching fish. Well guys, they don't seem to want my jig. So I'm gonna go with something that absolutely crushed for me last year, which is the Pinhead Minnow by Clam. We'll see if that uh, gets them a little fired up here. Hopefully it will. I've been around fish all day, but they just don't, uh, they don't wanna bite. So we'll see, oh yeah, this. This could be the ticket. That one sure did. Oh. Knocked my anti reverse off there. It's a little eight inch, nine inch crappie there. Not terrible, definitely get bigger in this lake, but we'll take him. He absolutely hammered it, so that's a, that's a good sign. I don't know what it is about this pinhead minnow, guys, but it is, it's amazing how this lure gets crushed when everything else doesn't. And you'd think, common sense would make you think, oh, I gotta downsize. And then this small spoon, which doesn't even have that much action, just starts getting crushed. 
one key to crappie fishing. Got him. As I was saying, one key to crappie fishing is you got to be mobile. And once once the school leaves the hole that you're in, move to the next one. And if you don't see them there, move to the next one until you see the school. And that's all I did right there. The school left that hole that I was in, dink right here. Left the hole that I was in, moved to the next one. And all they had done was move to the next, like literally 20 feet to the left. Uh, so dropped down into this hole and immediately saw that there were marks there and dropped down and caught one. So here's what you're looking for when you move spots. You've got the bottom of the lake right up here at about 20 feet. All these marks right here from 12 feet down to 16 feet are crappies. I hope you can see that, guys. But that's what you're looking for when you're hole hopping. If you don't see a couple marks or more in a hole, don't fish that hole. Move to a, move to a hole until you find a hole with a lot of marks or a decent amount of marks to fish. Well, guys, I missed it with the video, obviously, but... Uh... It's our best crappie of the day. It's about a about a nine incher, nine ten incher. Solid fish for out here. Uh, that came on the clam pinhead minnow, and it's been a tough day out here. But uh, once I put the clam pinhead on, I started catching them. Hopefully, we can keep this a uh, little bit better quality going too. And again, this is all it is. It's a very simple, simple rig, or lure, I should say. Very slender spoon with a little clacker on the hook. Purple and chartreuse seem to be the best one for me. Uh, but every time I go for crappies, this thing just crushes. Even when, even when the fish are negative. You know, you think you'd have to downsize normally when fish are negative, but I can throw this spoon on, this pinhead minnow, and they just start getting aggressive all over again. I'm happy just because I'm on the ice catching fish, so. Sure, I'd like to catch some nice ones, but good to just bend the ice rods again. Ooh, missed him. I think it was a little guy, but he hammered it. Wanted round two. Just missed him. Can I get him to go a third time? He wanted it, but he didn't hit it. What's that about? Another little tip I like is uh, if you if you jig for a little bit and the fish kind of seem to turn off to what you're doing, reel back up and then drop back down to them. And a lot of times that'll get them to fire up again. They might think it's uh, just like that and I missed them again. Uh, they think it's a different, a different target basically or a different uh, food source and they'll come after it again. And if I wasn't so rusty today, or my, uh, see now watch, they shut off, they gave me a couple strikes and I was terrible and missed them. Now I'll reel back up, drop back down, and see if they come right back at it again. Most times they do. I just got to stop missing them. This is awful. It has been a while. Boy, there's a lot of fish down there too. Oh, here comes.
comes one. He wanted it. He wanted it. Yeah, this is a little better school, I think. Still not giants, but. Oh, eight, nine inches there. Not bad. See that clam pinhead minnow right there? Not bad at all. Nicer fish here, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Freaking giant golden shiner. Oh, come on, get out of there. Look at this. Look at that. Maybe that's why we're not catching them. Maybe they're a bunch of these guys. Wow. I wish I had a tip up on me. I didn't think to bring a tip up. That's not what I was expecting. That'd be a hell of a tip up bait though. Look at the colors on that guy. Okay, yeah, we're doing all right. We're kind of into that nine, 10 inch range here now with this school. This one's probably, probably maybe the biggest of the day. You can see that pinhead minnow. I mean, it's just a, it's honestly just a really simple bait, but Man, does it work. Let that guy go. Get back for his buddies. Tell me I didn't leave the freaking wax worms over. Nope, they're in my pocket. Man, I'm a mess today. First trip out on the ice is always just a circus for me. I don't know why, but it always is. We gotta get back down there and get his buddies. not giant guys but they're fun to catch it's just it's great to be out on the ice again and just like that the school's gone so we got to move ice safety is huge right now it's first ice this is one of the first lakes to freeze in the metro legit lakes um, I'm sitting in about 20 feet of water here and I sputted my way all the way out here so Keys for early ice safety, spud bar. You must go out with a spud bar early ice. <clears throat> Basically what you do, every couple steps you take, you smack this into the ice, and if it goes through in one shot or two shots, you need to back up because that ice is only about an inch or two thick. If you can take two or three good whacks on there, you're safe. That means it's about three to four inches or more. So I spudded my way all the way out here. It's a pain, but it'll save your butt. Second thing, ice picks. These will save your life if you fall through. If you go through and you're trying to get out, all you're gonna do is slide on that ice around the hole because that water gets on top of the ice on the edges and all you do is start to slip. Makes that ice unbelievably slippery. I've, I've gone in with uh, my fire department dive team on drills before and without spikes, it's almost impossible to get out of the water. So 
These, always have them around your neck. If you do fall in, grab them and just start spiking your way out. Um, there's little, obviously there's little spikes in here as you can see that grab the ice for you and make it in way more easier to get out. Third thing, I know it's expensive, but if you can afford it, buy a float suit. This is the Clam Ascent uh, float suit. Every brand, just about Striker, Eskimo, um, Strike Master now are making float suits. They will save your life. If they don't, they at least keep you up on the surface so somebody can find you. So ice safety, take it seriously. Get out there and have fun, but take this stuff very seriously because it can save your life. Well, ice is here. 2021, December 8th. Not too late, not as early as we'd have liked, but not too late. First trip out for me, as I said at the beginning, about 45 minutes north of the Twin Cities in Minnesota. We've got about five inches here, but please, if you go out, check your ice and be safe. Most lakes aren't safe yet. They're getting close. So bring that spud bar, bring your picks and bring your float suit and go get on them. Thanks for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click that thumbs up button. We'll see you next time on Water and Ice Outdoors.